top that and this is real spill now if y'all ever been in a toxic relationship because that's what today's topic is about okay toxic relationships man we know people that have been in them we know people that have been around them we know people that have escaped them we know people that are probably still in them now i'm here just to give a little real spill on that type of stuff so real spill if you're in a toxic relationship there's three signs that you should look for if you don't really know if you're in a toxic relationship one is when certain things are said physicality is involved two when everything that is suggested or everything that is planned out somehow is wrong in some type of way or somehow dirty in some type of way or just something to start an argument three when you constantly try to attempt to make it better but everything is basically reversed on you let's say you brought flowers. That per that toxic person gonna say, I'm allergic to flowers. No, they ain't allergic to flowers, but somehow they gonna come up with a secret allergen to flowers or being secretly allergic to flowers. So now you got to deal with that. You know it ain't true, but it's toxicity in a relationship. So of course you're gonna have to battle it out. My thing is, if you don't wanna be in that relationship, you don't got to be in that type of relationship. Don't nobody have to go through county craziness is what I call it. It's basically somebody sitting there in a little bubble just waiting to explode with craziness. And they regenerate themselves constantly on a constant basis. They just sit there and they use anything negative to draw energy. It's a lot to be negative about in this world. So, of course, they got a lot to draw from. But that's the pool that they dip in. Now, if you've been in a toxic relationship and you made your way out, help your people out. Y'all go tell somebody about more signs. You know, I just know a few signs. I'm pretty sure there's a plethora of signs out here. So, y'all go give a warning to your peoples. Tell them, like, yo, listen, if shorty do this, look out for it. If shorty do that, start packing your bag. If shorty do this, leave and be gone for good. Don't go back because the cooch is good. Don't go back because the mouthpiece is good. Don't go back because she got money and you don't. You know what I'm saying? Don't do none of that. Keep yourself in a sustainable position so you ain't either in jail, on the streets going crazy, or in the world, stable, but still going crazy on the inside because a lot of people hold a lot in and they end up you know, perishing for it. So don't do that either. Now. I would say how you can counter a toxic relationship is don't think you can change a toxic person that's been toxic for years and years and years because it's not going to work. They set in their ways and they're ready to spit venom anytime that help is offered or anytime somebody say, hey, okay, you should do this. That should word sounds like you're going to do this. This is what you're going to do. You're wrong about everything else you are going to do this and toxic people of course want to fight so them is fighting words to them basically should is a fighting word to toxic people if you say should to somebody that basically means you're going to do it like regardless of what, what you're talking about right now everything that's coming out your lips is moot i ain't trying to hear none of that get out my face you're gonna do this right now so what they gonna do strike back you know what I'm saying? So you have to be smart enough to dodge the toxicity of those relationships. Now, understand the physical nature of a relationship. You may get in there, girl may be popping it nice, dude may be working it right, the game is off the chain, this, that, and the third. Now, you turn around, and on the other side of that, he or she is thumping you up, they cheating on you, they stealing from you, they abusing your your family, and if you got children, Lord forbid, they are abusing them too, mentally or physically or both. And sometimes a lot of people do it sexually. So you got that problem to behold. So when you in them type of relationships, basically look out for yourself. Don't be selfish. 
but look out for self. Because if you don't, a lot of them people that in ties with relationships didn't make it out. And a lot of people that's in them now are on the edge of not making it out. So y'all go ahead and give a lending helping hand to somebody that's in one and y'all make sure y'all don't get in one. Now, if you're in a good place and you like that toxic nature, don't tell nobody else about that because that's just not a good thing to spread on this world, man. Toxic is toxic for a reason. That's bad, it's not good. If toxins was good, then we'll be using toxins. We get rid of toxins or toxics. So that's that. Now, I would like to thank y'all for joining me. This has been Real Spill. Y'all get at me, and I get at y'all. Peace.